Hi guys, I'm Karen Love from English Tutor Hub and welcome to another translation video where I will teach you the Tagalog translation of the word bother. So if you want to know what is bother in Tagalog, just stay tuned. And before we start, if you want more, English to Tagalog and Tagalog to English translations, visit EnglishTutorHub.com and ProudPinoy.ph. For sure, it will help you a lot. What is the meaning of bother? Bother is to cause someone to be somewhat anxious or concerned. Furthermore, according to Miriam Webster, something that causes minor annoyance or concern. What are the synonyms of the word bother? So we have worry, annoy, anxious, irritate, chivy, pester, intrude, and disturb. Bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag kalimutang i-like, share, at mag-subscribe sa ating channel. At kung gusto nyo pa ng maraming English to Tagalog translation and Tagalog to English translation, visit EnglishTutorHub.com and ProudTinoy.ph Okay, now let us know what is bother in Tagalog. The word bother can be directly translated as Abala. Ang abala ay isang bagay na nagdudulot ng maliit na inis o pag-aalala at maaaring maging sanhi ng pagiging balisa. At may tatlong uri po ang abala. Mayroong abala na pang-uri, abala na pandiwa, at abala na pangalan. Ang abala na pangalan ay tumutukoy sa isang bagay na gawain responsibilidad o tungkulin. Abala naman na pandiwa ay nangangahulugang pag-antala o paggambala o pagbibigay ng oras sa isang gawain. At ang abala naman na panguri ay maraming inaasikaso o okupado at ang pagiging legali. At heto naman po ang mga kasing kahulugan ng salitang abala, pag-antala, pag-gambala, ligalig, pagkabalisa, pagkaligalig, pag-aalala at istorbuhin. I will give an example sentence using the word bother and of course, I will translate it in Tagalog, okay? I don't want to bother you anymore. In Tagalog, ayaw na kitang abalahin pa. Ngayon, for sure, alam mo na kung ano ang bother sa Tagalog. And there are a couple of words in the Filipino language that could translate into bother. However, the use of these words depends on the context of the sentence. Therefore, be mindful of what you write and what you say. Huwag pong kalimutan mag-comment kung may natutunan kayo sa ating video. At pwede rin po kayong magtanong kung sakali. At maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta sa ating channel. Maraming salamat po. God bless.